Each year, millions of children are signed up to play youth sports. But parents, think about this. Before you go off and tell your child that you're going to sign them up, you've got to get the information, you need to be informed, and you really need to find out the cost. Because the last thing that you would want to do would be to make a promise that you couldn't keep. That would really be heartbreaking for your son or daughter. So first of all, get the facts. Find out the registration fee. How much it costs for the team uniform? If you need special equipment, is there going to be a pizza party at the end of the year? Team photos, etc. All of these factor in. Now, finances are a problem for many parents, and yet they want to give their children this opportunity. So talk to the league, talk to your coach. It may be possible that you can get used equipment. Maybe there's a scholarship fund, or maybe someone has a hand-me-down that they can help you use to give your child at least the introduction. These are some of the hard costs that are going to occur, so you want to know how much they are for your budget. There's also a number of soft costs too. You have to drive, you have to take your child to and from the practices. There's also the games on the weekend. Some of them could be away. You may need to hire a carpool. You could be working and not be able to take your child. But what you can do is thanks to electronic devices today, you can leave a voice message, send a well-timed text to let your child know that you are keeping him or her in mind. Now besides all of these expenses, you have to make time. You have to make time to go in the backyard, let's say, and throw the ball, shoot hoops in the driveway, take your child to, it could be the ice arena, the park, so they could work on the skills that they need to, so they can become more proficient in their sport. And besides this time, you also need to make time to listen to your child because every child is going to struggle with some of their feelings. Are they doing a good enough job? Are they happy with the sport? Are they frustrated? Do they feel the coach listens to them? Because it's not just developing the skills. Children also have to develop the right mindset and they have to be able to know how to handle their feelings. So there's many factors involved in helping your child in their participation in youth sports. Now those are some of the soft and hard costs. Now let's take a look at the cost of not putting your child in new sports. You might not have ever considered this, but think about these three important factors. The first one is physical, the second one is mental, and the third one is social-emotional. Children who do not play sports are likely to be less active, they're likely to be more sedentary, and if that's the case, they may be consuming more calories and they're at risk for obesity. And children that are obese, they have many health issues from cardiovascular to respiratory, perhaps diabetes, but the psychological toll could come through the form of bullying, teasing, being ostracized by their peers. Second of all, mentally. Children who play sports, they have to listen. They're learning something new. They're learning about the plays. They're learning strategy. They're learning what their coach is telling them. It might involve even problem solving and math. So it's almost like being in another kind of a classroom. There might even be memorization involved. And last, the social emotional factors. Socially, children who play youth sports often have better interpersonal skills because they have to be able to read one another. They have to not only hear what's going on, but they need to pay attention to the body language. Children that have better social emotional skills often are more well liked, they do better in school, and they're able to be more flexible in all sorts of situations. And the concern here is many children, they're plugged in, but they're plugged into their electronic devices. And so if they don't develop those skills, they may miss the cues and they may misunderstand or take something personal that could actually be situational and cause them a problem. And again, emotionally, we know that sports is about learning how to deal with all feelings. One of the most beautiful things about sports is you get to learn about it in a controlled environment. And by controlled, I mean there's Sports occurs within a specific time frame. There's boundaries between inbounds, out of bounds. You also have referees, umpires, coaches to help enforce the rules of the game. 
This way, children have to learn how to deal with their anger, their disappointment, their jealousy if they don't get to play the position they want. They get to learn how to deal with dejection and frustration. It's easy to deal with happiness when you win, but maybe they have to learn not to gloat too much because that could cause problems too. So what I'm saying, bottom line, is that yes, there are costs to play youth sports, but there are so many benefits too because ultimately you want to help your child develop a sound mind, strong body, and good interpersonal skills, which also include developing many essential virtues. These virtues include learning to trust and believe in oneself, developing willpower and perseverance, and learning to develop a sense of competency. And when these factors are taken in and internalized and learned, not only does a child do well in sports, they'll do well in the classroom, and ultimately, they'll do well in life. I'm Dr. Andrea.